Hey everyone, Matt here, Home Farm Ideas. And uh, I had this radio flow filter connected to the back of my sump there that went down, oh wait, uh, my fish tank that went down to my sump. And now I just have a bypass going um, because I took this off. It's really not working out for me. Um, <clears throat> I think there's some design flaws that I have in it. Um, I didn't do enough research and so I tried to build it out of a bucket basically. Um, and if you watch my first video, you'll see that I basically planned on using these as uh, radio flow filters and a uh, biomedia filter or a bio filter. And um, so I wanted to show you some of the flaws that I have. That way you guys don't repeat the same thing that I did. Um, this is about the flow rate, the flow rate going into there. There's my, uh, my pipe right there. And that is, um, I have it full blast on there because you want really high flow rates into your fish tank. Um, well, as high as it, you can get it. I mean, not crazy, but you know. So that's about the flow rate that I have going into my fish tank from my pump. Okay, and so I have that basically going in here so I can show you guys kind of how the, the flow goes here. But um, basically, um, and you guys can look this up, radio flow filters, pretty cool um, for, you know, getting solids and stuff out. But basically what happens is, is that uh, the water flows up from this pipe here, okay? And that's supposed to be in the middle, and it was, it's just it's leaning because of the weight of the hose. But basically that comes up into the middle here, okay? Then the water overflows from there, it goes downward, okay? And the reason why it really goes down is because this piece of that, um, this bucket, I have like a flower pot under here, okay? And that basically directs the water back down. Um, so the water comes up through the middle of this flower pot, right? Then the water falls back down and to the bottom, okay? And then at the bottom, you're supposed to see a lot of solids build up down there, okay? And so you can see there's some, but there's a lot of floating material. There's a lot of stuff that just floats around and it goes down my pipe here, okay? And that would go right back to the sump tank, okay? So as you can see, these are almost at the same level. This should have been way up here, okay? I should have had that way high um, because then that would have given the solids time to kind of settle down and float to the bottom. But as it stands now, they come up this pipe and that pipe should be up high too. That one should be like close to the top of this flower pot, okay? So that gives it time to basically direct it back down and then it has to come all the way back up and into this pipe that would have been right up here. So big design flaw here for me. Um, I should have had this going up way higher in the middle and I should have had that going way high up on the side. So, and that's really the main issue with this is just that it, you know, it basically, I don't have these going up high enough. Uh, the other thing is, is I don't think, I mean, I could be wrong, but I don't think this bucket is really deep enough. I think with the flow rate that I have, it's just gonna stir it up anyways. So I'm gonna try to find something that's bigger uh, than the five gallon bucket, something like maybe a 10 gallon container or something like that. And then um, I'm gonna make sure that I have my pipes up higher. So be on the lookout for a video on that. Um, basically a follow-up video on these uh, radio flow filters um, and I did want to show you where I screwed up that way you guys won't screw up uh, you can just watch me screw up <laughs> and uh, as you guys know I'm not a professional I'm learning this stuff so um, but I just wanted to show you guys this is the radio flow filter that I built and I believe I got this idea from a couple different people Rob Rob Bob's um, but he he obviously did his right but I, I know he he had to have messed up a bunch of times. I know he's an Aussie, so it's uh, difficult for Aussies to mess up um, because they're so awesome. <laughs> That's where my father-in-law lives, by the way. Um, but anyways, um, and then the other the other person was uh, my friend Ralph and Panda. Both of them, uh, they have radio flow filters, and so um, I didn't look close enough, basically. So I just wanted to show you guys. Those pipes need to come up higher. You need to come almost all the way up to the top in the middle. 
and then need to come up all the way to the top. That way there's time for the water to basically go down and then come up. And as it's going down, a lot of the bigger solids will settle. And as it's coming up the side, a lot of them just will kind of get momentum, but then come right back down. So that is the radio flow filter screw up. But that's basically the design of it. It's, it's, it's a really cool design if you do it right. So, and it's a really cool filter to get solids out. So, um, yeah, it's coming along though. I got this bed to do. Uh, I already put the bell siphon in. Check out a video that's coming out on that. And, uh, or actually the video is already out on this one. And then check these other two. And then I'm going to have, I'm going to be building over in this area. And, uh, I have some, uh, um, uh, zip grow towers and a uh, company gave those to me and uh, you'll see a video on those too and see how I like them and all that so anyway God bless you guys and uh, like always yeah. peace thank you guys so much for watching our video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up also hit that subscribe button to get all our video updates oh yeah we do have other channels now so please check them out like always God bless